Hi, I'm Chris Murray from Autodesk and welcome to the tips and trick video on the Transform Toolbox. We're going to take a look at the Transform Toolbox that was introduced in 3ds Max 2010. It can be located in the Edit drop-down menu under Transform Toolbox right here. This is the menu and it can be docked any place that you want to put it, but for right now we're just going to leave it up on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and hide a couple of my extra things here so that we can take a look and see how this tool works. This tool gives us uh, access to some frequently used utilities and tools that are in various parts of the interface. It's just kind of consolidated them right here um, into the program or into this dialog box. It allows us to do some rotations, allows us to set the pivot points, uh, and it allows us to do some quick cloning. So we're going to select our object, and then you can just see I'm just going to rotate around here, and you can see our um, transform gizmo in there. That's kind of important to understand how the rotation works, because what we can do is we can just come over here and just click the rotate based on the view. We can rotate this direction or this direction. I don't want to say clockwise or counterclockwise, because, again, it's based on the view. So, for example, if I come over here, and you can see I'm looking mainly down the y-axis, and I rotate, uh, it'll rotate the object in that direction. If I am looking mainly down the z-axis, it'll rotate that direction. Or if I'm mainly down the x-axis, it rotates this direction. So it's a very quick and easy way to rotate. And you can obviously um, change your degree of rotation. And of course, you can use any, any number of the presets. So for example, if I come in here and say 45 degrees and look mainly down the x-axis, you can see it rotates in 45 degree increments. So the next thing that we're going to look at is the size portion of the transform toolbox. This allows us to uh, change the object to basically any size that uh, we determine. We click on the get button and th this gives us the current dimensions of the object. We can see that it's a 10 by 10 by 3 object. So to change the size, it's very easy to do. We just begin by resetting the transform and we're going to go in here and just choose an arbitrary dimension, say 5. And I can either do this on individual axes or I can say all. I'm just going to leave it all. I'm going to say set size. And you can see now that our object has been changed. If I choose this, all of the dimensions are now equal because I chose all axes. Of course, if I wanted to change that, I would just put in, you know, let's do 2.5 on the Z and say set size. And you can see that we've now halved our height on that object. The other thing that we can do, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to undo those so I can get back to what I want. There we go. Is the align pivot. This gives us, saves us a lot of mouse travel over to the hierarchy command panel and, and, uh, or the alignment tool. And what this allows us to do is basically move the pivot around wherever we want. So, for example, if I want to move the x-axis to the minimum of the object or to the maximum of the object, I just have to choose what I want. If I want to move the x-axis to the origin or back to the center, uh, it's fine. If I want to move, let me go ahead and offset this a little bit. I can instantly recenter the axis. Let's try that again. There we go. I can instantly recenter the axis right back on the object. And I can also move the axis directly to the world origin. So again, quick and easy ways to move your alignment. So I'm going to uh, center it back up on the object. And now the last thing I'm going to do is take a look at Quick Clone. What Quick Clone allows us to do is to quickly clone the object. So, for example, if I just go over here, and now this works similarly to the Rotate button in that if I'm on basically looking down the x-axis, it's going to clone off to the right on the y. So I just choose that. And it's a very easy way to quickly generate clones based on your view. So now I'm going to kind of go up to the z-axis, and I'm going to say Clone again. And then I'll move them up, and if I go kind of turn over to the around the back side, and I go quick clone, notice it always clones essentially in one direction. So again, Transform Toolbox is a very quick and easy way to manipulate common transforms of our objects within the scene.